fashion bunker. Actually, it's not quite the fashion bunker, but one of my fashion bunkers. It's one of those places I go to when I travel either for work or pleasure. And right now I am in a Soho hotel somewhere on this bright blue planet. So this is uh, where I'm staying at the moment. So there's this really funny thing in the middle of the room is a bathtub. And there you have it. So basically, uh, if I were to wake up early in the morning or after or, or whenever I wake up, uh, I could technically just jump into this bathtub. I mean, the idea is really cool, but it, I, I, I don't know. It's just not for me. I just don't get that sort of inspiration to just jump out of the bed into a bathtub. If I had a swimming pool attached to my bed, however, that I might do. On the other side, though, we have the bed and the bed is ginormous. I mean... <clears throat> The size of this thing, this is a monster bed. So if I were to like jump onto it, it's just so huge. Look at this thing. I look really tiny in the middle of this bed. Anyway, this is the bed. Big bed. Comfortable bed to have to say. But uh, definitely you get lost in this bed. This reminds me very much of Chanel. I mean, they're not as, you know, these Paravans are not as uh, beautiful as the Chanel ones are in the Rue Cambon 31. So these are not Coromandel, but um, something very particular about them is, I don't know if this is fake or real, if it's real, then this is Stingray. So these are panels of Stingray skin. Now, um, there's no real way of knowing if it's real or not because I'm not professional in Stingray, but it's either imitation of Stingray or, or real Stingray. Vintage, extremely vintage though. They're almost falling apart, so you can't really bend them together. They just stay the way they are. Then we got a chaise lounge here, which uh, <clears throat> we could have like a naked lady sitting there and a painter on the other side, you know, painting her uh, in her very, I don't know, languishing pose or something like that. TV's all over the place. Um, there's like a set for tea and coffee, but uh, I drink coffee literally when I'm really tired. But I, I don't like crave it all the time. So uh, there's a lot of fashion bunker-ish aspects and details in this um, interior design. Also in the architecture of the space, you could check out the cement columns, which are literally just scorched real cement and uh, blocks of it to that, which, which makes it extremely bunkery and makes it very kind of, and also if you look at the, 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 the ceiling, there's like this whole structure of these kind of transversal um, carrying walls or bits that really make it look bunkery even more. The ceiling is not that high. The floor is a wooden floor. Um, maybe it's made to look vintage rather than actually being vintage, not so sure about that, but it, it's a nice dark color. It, it's, it's, it's dark and by being dark it absorbs a lot of the light so it makes the room look a little bit heavier than it maybe should because, I don't know. Actually, like, I like the mattified touch to it. Uh, it could have been glossier, but it's still really fun. Uh, the, the floor is really good. And I walked barefoot on this floor and I did not get any thorns or anything in it so it's kept very, very, very well. So the floor is good. That, made, that makes me very happy. Um, what else is there to say, guys? There is a bathroom in this room as well, in this ginormous room, which is kind of like a loft because there are no walls really, except the only wall here is the wall separating, well, if you want to do the bathtub, you have the bathtub, but the wall is separating the bathroom from the rest of the areas. And the bathroom is really huge. There are like different rooms within the bathroom as well. And one of the biggest rooms with three different showers turns into a sauna as well. So I'm going to take you into the bathroom. Follow me, guys. So guys, here we are. This is the bathroom. So you got two sinks in here. This is me, hello. Then we got this huge, let me move away. The big sauna. And 
this is um, also, well, not, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's not dirt, it's, I guess it's just residue of anything, water stuff. Um, look at this huge shower and there, so, and then also, you could, I mean, I shower with this one because it's easier to manage. And then when you turn on the sauna, you can just lay here and the steam just comes out of the room. So there's a huge mirror. Uh, what I found really cool is you could, you know, the towels, you could here heat them up. So this little gadget, you turn it on and the towels are all warm for you in the morning. Also, the floor is heated. If you want it to be heated, the towels, everything you need is there. And then the actual blue is in here. Tiny little loose space. You know, do everything you need to do. <laughs> and that's it would be the bathroom tour. Speaking of tour, here is the tour of my outfit of the day. I am wearing Bernhard Wilhelm from oh way back, I think 2007-ish or 8-ish. Um, I'm wearing the top and the bottom inspired by kind of the Munich, I think, uh, Winter Olympics in the 70s. I'm wearing a Y3 fedora and look at this, you could pull the um, strings from the bottom of the pants, so from a cerule pant they kind of pull up and become, well, something that you could call regular pants but you know they're not really regular <laughs> um, anyway uh, you could tie them up together like that I am wearing Raph Simmons Adilets and uh, Y3 spring summer 16 shirt I'm preparing a couple of videos for you guys uh, that I will be showing in the next couple of days and also you know mm, this trip is kind of work related so I'm trying to kind of cut out as much time as possible to also create some fun moments for us. Um, <clears throat> if, I get a, if I ever do get the time, and sometimes I get the time to watch my own videos, <laughs> they're over there on <laughs> that screen. And um, other than that, I'm usually sitting here answering all of your questions and comments in the comment sections. Um, the bag of the day is usually on the little table. Today we have a Chanel. Uh, following us around, a little 2005 bag from the late 90s. And um, what else is there to say? You know, I've been thinking a lot about all sorts of things that happen, like the comments, the stories, the dramas unfolding, the loves unfolding. And it, it's becoming more and more um, intri uh, intricate, maybe? Yeah. like more complex and kind of interwoven so that I have the feeling that with every uh, new vlog or every new video I make, things become more and more um, tight or interesting or I don't know how to say it, but I have the feeling like I'm growing with you guys because the more you guys comment and the more I get to know also you, so the more of a, of a fashion bunker family it becomes. So uh, join me in this fashion bunker like that you would say uh, my adopted fashion bunker for, for the moment. And uh, let's see what, what comes of it. Another thing I would love to say is if you have any comments that you would like to leave regarding uh, the space, uh, this topic or traveling in general, whatever you want to get off your mind and heart and chest, leave it in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I am also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget, no matter what you do, guys, don't ever give up on love. Love ya. Bye.